bullying short people. <laughs> you love to see it. I love to see it, man. It's funny. Alright, so here we're gonna go. Wow, who can read this later? Oh, that was me. What's up? Alright, so boom, bop, boom, We got the villager versus the uh, palatina. Hydra versus, the, versus uh, Elam and D. Getting the last hit in there and then going in with the dash attack. Starting off with ledge pressure. And Alina coming in with the forward air. What a way to get off the ledge. Now, I, know, I understand that these two have played probably. Uh, and I know both. The funny thing about both of these two, they're both Wi Fi warriors. Um. I just don't understand how many times they've met in bracket. That was a wonderful, almost amazing catch by Elam. Wonderful stuff using the uh, side beat and get it to like, I wanna say invincible, catch the invincible stuff, but uh, get his way through the side, through the dash attack. And here we go, just stay, playing the keep away game, forcing him to jump at all these times. It's like I'm watching a Shoto at work. He doesn't play Villager like a Shoto, Jesus Christ. These jump punishes, the zoning, the nice easy buttons. I love to see what it. What the hell are you talking about? You Villager don't know is a Shoto? Okay, when I say a Shoto, I mean like a traditional Shoto. Like, what what like, does that mean? Explain okay, to okay, me. okay, okay. So, in Street Fighter V, Ryu, in Street Fighter, right? Ryu is considered a Shoto, as in he has a deep, he has an invincible option, he has a Tatsumaki, and he has a projectile. So he has, a, he has an advancing special, a, a projectile, a fireball, and an invincible option. Punish so it, um, fireball is to like force you to approach, force you to jump, force you to make a bad option. Shory, uh, DP, aka Shoryu, is a way to punish people for getting in. In Lamb's case, he's uh, using, uh, I guess you can use up B, or you can use an air as like, you know, the anti air option. You see, if people come in, he can either uh, counter with a retreating forward air, or he can like punish with an air, up smash, the axe, so many ways. And Tatsu, <laughs> that. Is side B when he wants to ride it. <laughs> but yeah, it's like I say he's playing I, it like a Shoto. Just not Ooh. a fast Shoto. That was almost sick nasty. What do you mean almost sick nasty? I would definitely qualify it in the sick nasty territory. Didn't quite get the kill, but honestly, right now, Buckland doesn't need the kill. He already is up there. He's pretty much lapped him in percent. Was so smart. Recognizing that the right when the Lord Rock comes out, you are not in danger. That dash attack, bonking his head with the shield, we'll take that stock. That was uh, nice to see. But now, how is Hydra gonna get this lead? Or is, how is he gonna snatch it? I'm really curious to see how this game will go out. Ooh. Okay. Very close right now. These two looking for this next hit. Hydra's. Really doing a good job of surviving. Uh, no get up attack. He's, he's still getting hit a ton. Hasn't really found that opening. Dash attack, but not really anything beyond that. At this point, he really wants all of the uh, extra credit. Sorry, not extra. Like, just like dip, like making up the difference as much as he can. Yeah. This stock is, uh, he's on borrowed time here. But if he can get, you know, another 30, 40% onto uh, Pokaland, then... You know, that's manageable as it stands right now, though. He does not want to be dying without being hit, without <laughs> a little bit of a, you know, a less of a gap between them. Yeah, do you see how much, do you see how the gap just keeps widening between the two? But and he ah! plays it into the setup again! I don't even think he needed the tree for that, but I mean, you went and did it. He's got his fair train coming out, and he, re he has the right idea, but just a little bit of a mess up on his facing. Well, I think that Palatina has a pretty long uh, roll, and that's maybe why it, mess it, it didn't quite land. She don't need it. Patch that out. Anyways. <laughs> uh, I have some bad news for you about patches in this game. <laughs> don't tell me. I already faced the music. <laughs> I just want to believe, man. Yo, Villager is too short for Rising Forward there to even hit him. Are you serious? I, I mean, that's what I just saw. That is funny. <laughs> He didn't uh, even have to duck or anything. Nope. He just has to run back and forth. So anyways, we're seeing here Lamb is a super stall off stage. And now here comes snatching stage control back in from the from the goddess of light. Oh, yeah. I don't like, yeah. oh, that's enough to take out the stock, and all of a yeah, sudden, yeah. this isn't such an unmanageable position for um for Hydra. Oh no. <laughs> Never mind. He's going to take a million percent here. <laughs> I, he 
tried to get caught. He caught him with the skirt, skirt drop. Almost caught him with that. And here we go again. Uh, Hydra finally finding a way to get in, get some percent on the board, and missing his follow up. That was a back air, too. Kind of nuts that his back air got punished. Oh. Hey, Jesus Christ. If I ever saw this little child running up to me with an axe ready, I'd cry. I wouldn't even run, I'd just cry. Oh no. Well, it's good to know that Hydra has a little bit more uh, more mental fortitude than you do. Yes, he does. Choosing to stay in and... Ooh. It doesn't, doesn't matter how mentally strong you are. Not at all, bro. That, that back throw is going to kill. And like that, I mean, that was... A, I mean, Pokalam was in the lead pretty much the entire game, but it felt like by the end there, Hydra started to piece things together. For one, he was doing a good job of... Um, like, Pokemon would throw out that Lloyd Rocket. Mm -hmm. He would jump over it, and he wasn't getting hit by, you know, the slingshots, the no, other pieces. All. Uh, he's doing a good job of avoiding the sort of follow-up option that Pokemon was uh, really aiming for. By the way, should I call him Pokemon or should I call him Illam? I... I don't know. Get, I, 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 I still say Pokemon because, like, that's what I'm used to. But Elam... Okay, Elam. That's what I'm going to say. Elam. Uh, Ryan just, like, circled in on the name, just like, Elam. All right, well... Elam it is. And it's shorter than Pokelam. <laughs> oh, I wonder how much more of the Jersey crew is still here in, in Bragg. Well, other than, uh, cause I know Hydra is a Jersey rep. Wait, this is winter. Is it raining outside? No, it's just the heat from the venue and the cold oh. is from outside. The heat from the venue? Yeah, Things are heating up here, especially as you move on to game two between these guys. And oh, yeah, like these explosive flames, normally they're a really great option for catching, you know, those projectile heavy characters who are trying to hang out on the other side of the map. But Pokalam is just, he's always aware. He's always shielding them. I don't know if like any of them have actually worked out into a I just favor like that, right uh -uh. there. It's like he's I feel like he's trying to punish Lloyd Rocket in some way, shape, or form, but it just not he's just a little bit too late on the trigger. He's fine. He's coming back. Oh, what a recovery. The balloon's actually helping him out because, uh, you know, Hydra got caught an extra hit lag, meaning that uh, Elam had plenty of time to roll back onto stage. And now that he's on stage, he's actually the one with stage control. Uh, How is he so consistent at doing combo? Bunk three, baby. Not even using the tree to just, like, get the wood or nothing like that. He just wants, he just wants, he just wants the axe. To him, the tree is just a hitbox when it grows. Oh, dear. No teleport cancel this time. That would have been that might, that would have been dangerous. That would have been dangerous. Oh, no. Bonk. Put good him to sleep. Yeah, good timing from Elam in order to actually take out him out right there. But all oh, that work that Hydra had put in, undone in an instant from a single misinput off stage. And now this is Pokalim with the lead again. And oh man, just look at what he's able to do with it. Setting up these wall, the barrage of projectiles does not stop for him at all. Choosing and missing the Nair edge guard too. All right, but there we go. Good Captain job right there. Dodge. Yeah, waiting for that spot dodge. It's an option that I don't know if Hydra, oh sorry, if Pokalim has been throwing out that much. He has thrown out spot dodge a couple times here and there in the last game. That was beautiful back air. So he's thrown out like, you know, spot dodge a couple of times here and there. But, uh, you know, that's kind of like, it's every time he's done it, though, he's gotten punished by F2. So Hydra's just been waiting for it. You know, you cannot spot dodge that move. Pull that with the right idea, but unable to punish him there. And here we go again. Big combo coming out from Powell, dropping the up air. Yeah, and that's how, not only was it an up air, but that, if that up air connected, it probably could have led into another, like, one or two more hits. So that's a huge amount of damage that Hydra did not get. That's no Legend of Invincibility, but Dantos is a little bit too slow. Elam gets off the ledge, and right now he is working with this lead. It's not too much of a lead, but it's something. I mean, we've, I feel like the kill power from Villager is the way that Elam is playing him. He's just getting those big hits that kill really early. So Jeez, that was so smart. Ah, uh, try to catch him with the mix. And here we go again. A lot more percentage coming on the board. Did you see that? How the Nair beat out the up smash? Oh, dear. Oh, oh. 
going right into the tree. Saying hello to Ver yeah. say hello to Veridi for me. <laughs> that might have been the <laughs> That might have been the Veridi the assist actually. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I mean, she has beef with Palu, right? She does. Well, she had beef with her for one moment, then they reconciled, but I still like Veridi is very snarky, so she would still have beef with Palu. Just be like, you know what? F you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Veridi was voiced at least in the Palutena's guidance. If I remember correctly, I think she's voiced by the same voice actress who voiced Princess Bubblegum. She is. And Starfire. Yes, it is. Ooh, that factor was nasty. And I think I forgot her name, but it starts with an H. Anyways, uh, enough about a voice actor, because oh. I would go into a whole tangent if we started that conversation. Honestly, <laughs> oh, I want to have that conversation with you later. But uh, honestly, my favorite voice actor is Villagers. Villagers? Villagers voice actor. Yep. The ambience. <laughs> the smile. <laughs> the zoning. <laughs> they, they put him into the booth and they're like, all right, I need you to just sound as menacing as possible in silence. And he just sat there. <laughs> said, oh my god, his shield! Imagine going into like the voice lines, you go to Villager and there's just like 70 files of just silence. Just silence. <laughs> <laughs> like you have the forwarder, forwarder line, and just like, you can hear him smiling in the distance. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like the concept of hearing a smile. Uh, it's supposed it's not supposed to be something you like. <laughs> it's supposed to be menacing. Like you know what smash Oh my goodness. Okay, I understand what Lamb was trying to do with that forward air. Not forward air, the uh, Oh God, that was some questionable DI. What a recovery. That's actually gonna be keeping Hydra alive here. And things are looking uh, I mean 119%. It's a lot. But as long as he's able to avoid those big hitting kill moves from Villager, he could survive to some very high percents. Yes, indeed. I'm really curious to see. Nair also stopping most of these projectiles coming out. Ooh, wonderful up smash. He's in kill percent. And now both of them are at death percent here. But Alam is the one trapped on the ledge. 125 on Hydra. This ledge trap might actually be it. I mean, it is worth noting, back throw will kill. I'm not sure if it's something that necessarily LM is really looking for right now, but at the very least, Hydra can't just, like, shield for free anymore. No, he cannot. Trying to get the Trump bear, but uh, LM is slowing down recovery and hitting him with the Lloyd Rocket, too. That dash attack, not enough to do it. He needs to avoid these explosive oh flames, God, though. That one was bad. Is he going to go deep for it? Oh, my oh, God. Almost. Again, the balloons hurting Hydra. The last hit of the forwarder is saving his bacon. Going mad deep for Belen, catches him with the bear! That was the really second good. he risked it. Makes sense why he went for it right there, but oh. notice the evasion that.